I probably should have put up a disclaimer that this is going to be a filthy episode. Well, hello to everyone out there. Uh, today is a bit of a rainy day, and I think rainy days are good project days. So today I've got a couple of real small, simple projects. And the first project will be lighting. I've had some issues with my lighting for quite a while now, and not too long ago I made some adjustments to my overhead lighting uh, because of these really just overly bright kind of spotlights almost that I have up here on the ceiling. I had more of these at one time. I think I had four of these kind of spaced out and I removed two of them and that made a huge difference. Uh, it's much better now, but it's still kind of bothering me. Uh, if I need to do a little bit of prep work or just cooking a little bit of something at night, uh, it's really nice to be able to have this really good bright light so I can see what I'm doing but I don't need it all the time. So I've been looking for an option and I, I really don't like to order stuff online. So it's been a little bit tough to try to find an option for me to buy at a local store. But I did finally find something here at Target. And uh, this is LED lighting, but it's supposed to kind of mimic neon lighting. So it should be a little bit more uh, subdued than this really bright light that I have going on here. Uh, but I'm hoping that it will give me just a little more usable, workable light and uh, get it in a spot that gives me a little more even coverage of light. So this is what I'm going to put up now and hopefully this will solve my lighting problem once and for all. So this system kind of had everything I was looking for and I did look online trying to find something else that might have been a little cheaper. I'm sure I could have bought this cheaper online, but it was about 25 bucks at Target. And I shop at Target all the time anyway, so uh, it kind of made buying it there a little easier for me. Uh, I have gotten this out and have played with it a little bit. Um, I like the setup here because it's, uh, it runs off of USB, so I can just plug this into a USB plug. I actually have one that's right below my work surface here, so this is kind of ideal for me. Uh, and on the power cord, it has an on-off button and also a mode button because this is uh, an RGB light, so it has all kinds of different colors you can do. It pulses different colors. In fact, let me turn it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got that plugged into my power source right under the tabletop here. And there's the white light that's kind of more daylight. And then there is the more kind of bright working light, I, I guess. Um, I rather like the daylight one. And then of course it's got all these colors, which I'm not, I don't think I'll use these, but they're there but I, I think the white is, uh, is good. So let me get this installed. And for that, I'm gonna use some old fashioned glue. This is just contact cement. So I think the easiest way for me to do this is to just find kind of the rough center of this light strip by just folding it in half. And then I'll glue it into place and then work my way around. Hopefully I'll have it kind of evenly spaced that way. And I am using this old time contact cement. Uh, this is funny to me. Um, I went into a store to buy some of this. They didn't sell it. Uh, they sold all kinds of different types of glue. So I had to go to another store to find it. I think I found it at an Ace Hardware. Um, but it's funny if you find it for sale at a store, it's always way down in the corner somewhere covered in dust because apparently nobody buys contact cement anymore, which I don't understand why. Um, although when you go to the store, they really kind of focus your eye on these just fantastical brands that tell you all this stuff that their glue can do. Uh, it's usually much more expensive than contact cement. And it claims that it does all these things, just, you know, amazing things. Uh, I've found that all of those super glues and just uh, really heavily advertised glues don't work nearly as well as contact cement. So this is something I've been keeping in my van at all times. I always have a little jar of this. Uh, the little bottles like this come with a uh, built-in little brush. So if you buy the little bottle, you're all good to go straight away. Uh, they do have it in larger containers and then you'd 
you need to buy a brush for that one and have that on hand but this is super convenient for me so I just always keep this uh, around and use it for all kinds of things um, it is a little bit tricky to use and you definitely want to use it in a well ventilated area so I'll probably turn my vent fan on now before I really get gluing here uh, and then this will just take me a little while to kind of work my way around the van here but shouldn't be a difficult job just a slow slow job I probably should have put up a disclaimer that this is going to be a filthy episode I do apologize uh, not my language of course I it's just there's stuff that needs to be cleaned here you, you can see it in the background uh, also the towel I use to uh, take my morning bath that's filthy too just covered in filth here I apologize I need to move some things around here to give myself some working room I use magnets on everything uh, like my contact lens cases here I use these old-time contact lens cases just because they're easier for me to operate instead of the screw-on kind you get a special order of these for some reason I don't know why anybody doesn't sell these anymore in regular stores uh, but I have a just a little cheap magnet on the back of this and it's really convenient because in the morning after I put my contact lenses on I can just hang it up here uh, with the magnet and if it drips a little bit of saline it just drips right down into my sink so it's kind of a nice little feature there for me uh, plus uh, because I'm usually parked on an angle somewhere at night it's just it's almost just never happens that I have a level spot that I park on uh, when I am using this uh, at night with my contacts in them uh, the magnet will just kind of help keep them from sliding around uh, my work surface that I have here is actually uh, magnetized stainless steel so any magnet will stick to it uh, so it kind of cool that uh, I have lots of metal available to me uh, and just adding little magnets to things really just makes life so much easier with certain things I think with some of these camera angles you can get a really good sense of just how obnoxiously bright these little lights are I mean it's just insane uh, they're great for when I need the lighting but like right now it's just really kind of bothersome looking at those you can imagine I'm trying to get ready for bed and I'm trying to do a few things before I get ready for bed uh, if I've got these on it's just much much too bright so I'm hoping that the new lighting will work so I'm gonna start to get it uh, glued into place now um, now using contact cement you just want to apply a thin layer of the glue to the surface and then let it get tacky and then stick it into place uh, if you really want it to stick forever and not have to worry about it falling down coming loose uh, you apply a layer to each surface so I'll apply a little bit to the light here and then a little bit to the van itself uh, wait for them to get tacky and then stick them uh, using that method though you want to make sure that you get it in the spot that you're going to need to get it because once you stick them it's done it's permanent uh, you can't pull them apart but it's it's uh, it's a really good tight bond so you want to just make sure you've got everything lined up the way you want it to be uh, because it is a very very good permanent uh, bonding solution that's why I like this stuff so much it just works just so well and so easy uh, there there are some fumes to worry about uh, the other thing I need to worry about is when I do reach over to grab a sip of my coffee I just need to make sure I'm grabbing my coffee mug and not the uh, cement but I, I should I should be okay with that maybe I should just finish my coffee before I move on any farther <laughs> so I'll set this down and let that get tacky and while I'm waiting for that to happen I'll move some of this other stuff out of my way since I will be working my way around the corner here um, and yes this is incense uh, I do burn incense once in a while this stuff is a lifesaver if you ever burn something on your stove and uh, make a little bit of smoke in your van this will get rid of the smell um, I actually picked this up from an old roommate of mine uh, she was vegetarian uh, occasionally vegan usually vegetarian and I would cook bacon back then at that time and uh, I would burn this uh, after I'd made bacon and before she would get home and she wouldn't smell the bacon smell not that it bothered her I was just trying to be nice about it um, 
if I would forget to do this, she would say, hey, you cook bacon, that smells really good. Uh, but I wasn't really, you know, I just kind of thought I should just get rid of the smell if I could. And this really works. So it is kind of a carryover from that. I brought it into the van. I don't use it very often uh, because normally I'm pretty good about cooking things without burning stuff. But on the odd occasion where I do burn something and I don't want to live with that kind of smoky smell in here, I just use a little bit of incense and it does the trick. Okay, just testing to see if this is getting tacky. We're pretty close. Uh, the one issue with using contact cement on a rainy day is it takes a little bit longer. So I just have another couple of minutes I need to wait for that to fully get tacky before I stick it up in place. I guess I can just take another sip of coffee. Okay, we are all done. That didn't go as smoothly as I hoped. I had some spots that I had to re-glue and then wait for the glue to get tacky again. So uh, it, it didn't go terribly smoothly. Uh, there seems to be a little window of time where you need to get the two pieces stuck together. If you wait too long, it doesn't stick. If you do it too quickly, it doesn't stick. Uh, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. And if you check down the comments, I'm sure there'll be people that will uh, explain what I'm doing wrong. But I've got it all done. Uh, most of it is stuck really well. I may have to go back in and just re-glue some spots, but I've got plenty of glue. I've got a whole tin of glue here, so I'll do that when it's necessary. But it's up and it looks good. I have not turned it on yet. So let's uh, flip the switch here and see what it looks like. Actually, that's not too bad. Let me turn this off. Those bad overhead lights. Hey, I like that, actually. That looks pretty good. Um, I have one spot where I have a, a bolt head that's sticking down through, so I can't get it like right up uh, in the corner, so it makes it look a little messy right here. That spot's holding is just, uh, it's over top of the bolt head. Um, the ends, I'll probably have to re-glue. I may wait till a drier day. Uh, I have noticed when I've done this in the past that when I try to glue on a damp day, it's not quite as easy as if I try to use this uh, contact cement on a drier day. So maybe that was my uh, my fault there in uh, doing this on the wrong day. Although I like doing little projects when it's uh, damp and rainy out because I'm not really going to be outside all that much. Um, at least traditionally I, I am not. But I like this. This looks pretty good. Uh, and I probably have no use for the colors, but it's snazzy anyway. I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. There, that's better. <laughs> that's better yet. Oh, I'm out of coffee. This might be a good time to make another cup, but maybe I should just finish my project because the next project is going to be a really quick and simple one. Um, I am drinking decaf, by the way, uh, at least this cup was decaf, uh, because I am a real coffee drinker. I drink coffee for the flavor, not the caffeine, so I don't care if it's got caffeine in it or not. I just want it to taste good. Uh, this one was a little bag that I am just trying to finish. What did I do with it? It's here uh, from a company called Counterculture, and it's a local to the Bay Area company here, so uh, local coffee, which is what I normally like to buy. Um, it was good. I am enjoying it, uh, but I have better decaf, at least I think I have better decaf waiting, so I'm working my way through this bag. Um, I don't think I'd buy this one again, but it's really good. Uh, it's just not my style of coffee. It's just a little darker roasted than what I normally prefer to drink. So a few more cups of that, and then I'll be on to the next one, which I'm hoping will be a much better decaf even. Uh, but now on to the next little project, which is this cutting board. So this cutting board is from a small company called Epicurean, and I bought it several years ago because uh, it's very low maintenance. Uh, in fact, you can put these in a dishwasher and not have to worry about them getting warped or damaged. So that was great for me because uh, I don't have to worry about maybe humidity levels rising in the van here and having a cutting board that's warped away. Uh, and it cleans up really well. Uh, trouble is, and I don't know if you are going to be able to see this very well, but it's really getting damaged here. Um, it's getting cut 
through because I do most of my cutting on this spot. I normally keep this cutting board right here and uh, it just sits here. And I'm normally just cutting a little tiny things uh, with a small paring knife and it happens to be a serrated paring knife and so it's pretty sharp and it digs right into this cutting board pretty you know pretty easily so at this point I just put that knife back on my little magnet there again utilizing a magnet to keep things out of the way uh, if I don't keep that knife there I end up cutting myself so I always like to just put it back in in its place so uh, because this is getting worn and I'm worried that uh, bacteria is going to grow in the cuts here on the cutting board I think it's now time to replace this I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of this I've had it for years I don't remember how long I've had it but I've had it for quite a long time but it's time to replace this so I found something that I think is going, going to be not only a suitable replacement but actually an even better replacement as well and this is it one solid chunk of olive wood uh, this was a uh, from Italy and cost me about 10 bucks so I thought the price was right definitely much cheaper than the old cutting board uh, I do like a wooden cutting board uh, normally I've always used a wooden cutting board there have been some studies that have shown that wood cutting boards are actually uh, much safer to use they have some kind of disinfecting properties on their own versus a plastic cutting board so I've always kind of stayed away from plastic um, but I went with this one just because it was supposed to be a little more durable. It has been, uh, but I kind of wanted to go for a wooden cutting board again. And I just thought this one looked pretty. I just think it looks cool. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit smaller, uh, which is not really going to be a problem for me because I normally only use a very small portion of this cutting board. So when I realized that, I thought, hey, I can get a smaller board that will sit here and give me a little bit more workspace on my tiny little kitchen space here because this is all I've got for space so any little bit of extra space will help uh, now the one thing that I'm gonna do uh, is why well, I probably should have mentioned that I've kept this board in place with just a few little magnets I have some magnets stuck to the tabletop and that kind of just keeps the board in place uh, not gonna work with this one because it's such a larger piece of wood much heavier so I have a little workaround for this I found some little cup magnets and these are insanely strong I can't even get them apart at the moment I have a whole mess of them here and it's kind of hard to get them apart when once they're stuck together uh, these are the really good strong magnets uh, they call these rare earth magnets uh, but the rare earth magnets on their own can be a little bit fragile so these are cup magnets that uh, are the rare earth magnets surrounded by a piece of steel uh, just a little cup of steel and that gives them a little bit of extra strength uh, these are a little bit special because they have a little area there a little well there that will accept a uh, screw so you can put a uh, just a regular little wood screw through the bottom of this and you can see where I'm going here I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom of my new cutting board and just attach these really strong magnets that way to these so that way I can set my cutting board down I don't have to worry about it flying around as I drive and it'll be nice and stable that way so I'll just space these out a little bit here get one in each corner and if I keep them right close to the edge on all four corners it should be nice and stable so I just want to make a little pilot hole so that I don't split the wood oh wow those those aren't going to go anywhere uh, in fact they're so strong that I'm going to do one more thing I'm just going to put a piece of tape on each magnet just to make it a little bit less strong uh, it'll 
probably also provide a little bit of cushion too because even though these are a cup magnet and that cup does help kind of support the magnet itself they still are fairly brittle so this will just give a little bit of extra shock resistance uh, as well as uh, it'll keep it from kind of digging into my countertop and scratching my countertop uh, it's not a big deal to scratch a countertop i think that's kind of part of the thing with a stainless steel countertop is you have some patina um, but sometimes it'll start to look a little bit ugly so I try not to scratch it up too much. So let me just cover these up with a little bit of tape and that'll be my final step here. Okay, that's better. It's not scraping. And I just took uh, my knife and cut around them so uh, they're sort of kind of round. Uh, it's not perfectly done. It's, it's actually fairly messy. But much like everything else, uh, I'm just not very exacting. It, it's funny, I, uh, I have a reputation, it seems, of being very exacting in everything that I do. And uh, I don't know how that is started because as you can see here, there's not a whole lot that I am really very precise about. Uh, to me, it's really function over everything else. I don't really care what it looks like. As long as it's gonna function well, that's the only thing that matters to me. Uh, I'm liking this. It's, uh, this gives me just a tiny little bit more space here. Um, I am giving myself a little extra work though, because I will have to obviously treat this from time to time where I didn't have to treat the old board. So that's a little, little downside with this. Uh, also, if I am gonna get out my chef's knife, this board's a little bit too small for it. Uh, but I very rarely use that chef's knife. I almost always just use my little uh, serrated knife here. So I think that this is going to be a perfect little upgrade. More space, uh, definitely better looking, and definitely is not going to fly around when I drive. So all in all, good little upgrade, I think. And I think the lighting is going to be a good upgrade, too. Uh, the old lighting, of course, is not going anywhere. Uh, I can turn it on now just to give you an idea. Watch your eyes. See, that's great for uh, good solid task lighting when I need it, but I think most of the time we're just going to leave that off because I'm liking the new lighting much better. So two tiny little upgrades done, and uh, just about the time I got them finished, I think the sun has popped out, uh, no more rain. I was hearing uh, birds chirping a few minutes ago, so about time for me to get out. Uh, of course, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee first before I get out, but uh, just one little thing I thought I would mention. Uh, I don't know if I've talked about this recently, but uh, the kitchen area here has always been a spot that I wanted to upgrade. Um, I put this whole kitchen together with scrap pieces of plywood that I had left over from building this cabinet over here and my bed, uh, my old bed, not the one I'm sitting on now, but my old bed was made out of plywood. And so I had all the scrap plywood left over. And so rather than uh, go through the process of buying new wood and building out the plans that I had drawn out for the kitchen here, I just put it together with pieces of scrap that I was gonna to have to get rid of anyway. And the idea there was I could work with the kitchen a little bit and make sure that my plans were gonna be the plans that were gonna uh, work for me. Um, of course, that was almost eight years ago now, and I haven't gotten around to actually building out the kitchen the way I had intended uh, to have it. Uh, but that's actually not such a terrible thing. Uh, the kitchen has worked well. It's not very pretty to look at, but of course that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, as long as it works well, that's the most important thing. Uh, but also now, you know, the van has some issues and so building out the kitchen is probably not real high on my priority anymore. I would rather spend that money on mechanical things that the van needs. So it's just one of those things that uh, I was kind of thinking about as I was doing these kind of little cheap upgrades, because uh, this didn't cost me a whole lot of money. Uh, the cutting board was $10. Uh, the magnets were <clears throat> about eight bucks, I think. 
and the lighting was 25. So I can't do math in my head, but that's not a whole lot of money for uh, some improvements. And of course, things that need to get done because of uh, food safety issues. And of course, you know, lighting is uh, a nice thing to do just because it helps my mood. I would rather, much rather, have this lighting going on than that other lighting, which I'm not going to turn on right now uh, <laughs> because it's just too bright and annoying. Anyway, that's all I was thinking about. And now I'm going to get out uh, and enjoy a cup of coffee outside uh, for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.